Thank you, Sarah. It is Money Tuesday. Stuart Welch from the Welch Group joins us, and we're talking about umbrella Ella Ella policies, liability <laughs> insurance. Uh, Stuart, good to see you. First of all, for people who don't know, what is an umbrella insurance policy? So, Mike, when you have your homeowner's insurance and your automobile insurance, they all have some liability coverage with them. So if you had an accident or somebody had an accident on your property and you got sued and got a judgment against you, it's that liability insurance portion of the policy that steps up and covers that claim. But it only covers a certain limit, like typically can be really low, 100000 or less. Typically it may be 300000 maybe 500000 So uh, in a big judgment, you expose yourself to a lot of risk a lot of personal risk. So an umbrella comes in and wraps around the homeowners in the automobile and carries that liability coverage up to a higher limit, typically a minimum of a, another million dollars or more. Okay. So now if you can afford the premiums, and we'll get to the cost of an umbrella, the average cost of an umbrella policy in just a minute, who, who would need this policy? Who should Well, I would it? say that, uh, I'd say if you have assets that you think are worth protecting, you should consider an umbrella liability policy. Okay. And, and this came up because I had a, a, a longtime friend of mine that asked me, I need to revisit my umbrella. And he said, you know, I've got a $2 million net worth. And so what I'm thinking about is buying a $2 million umbrella to cover that net worth. And that's actually not how it works. So let's say, what if you had a $4 million judgment they take two million of umbrella insurance and then they come get your assets for the other two million. So the bigger question people have is, you know, how much should, how do I decide how much to get? And I'd say it's a lifestyle issue. So if you're a physician, for example, or a business owner or somebody who uh, has conspicuous wealth, mm -hmm. you know, big houses, fancy cars, you're going to be more of a target. And so you'll probably want to have more coverage. I think if you have a lot of young people in the household, so you have teenage drivers, you know, they're texting and driving and so forth, you're going to be greater at risk and you'll want more umbrellas. So I think you want to look mm. at what is your lifestyle if you text and drive. If you're a partier, you know, you go to a lot of cocktail parties and think you can drive home after a couple of drinks, you're a bigger target. So I think you want to look first to lifestyle. Okay. The good news is it's not really expensive. Okay. So, um, so like a million dollars of coverage typically is one hundred to three hundred dollars a year. So it's really inexpensive. Really? Yeah, it's very inexpensive. Uh, five million is you know maybe seven hundred a year. Mm -hmm. So you can have a lot of coverage for not much money, and you can really step up and protect your assets. On the flip side of that, if, uh, obviously you don't want to advertise that you have an umbrella policy because then that would make you a target there as well, right? You wouldn't advertise that. I mean, I've never heard been at a cocktail party and people said, "I got this big umbrella." I got umbrella. this big umbrella. I'm yeah. covered. Ah, it's it's fine. not really bragging Go ahead rights. And sue me. It's not bragging <laughs> rights. Uh, but I tell you what, it does. Uh, you know, plaintiff attorneys like to go for the insurance. They don't like to put people out of their houses. So the fact that you actually have an umbrella policy is actually going to give you some protection there right. against a big lawsuit. All right. Good input. Good info today. Thank you, Stuart. Thanks, Mike. All right. More ahead here on Good Day Alabama.